All departments reporting full mission readiness. We've got our full complement on board. This is my favorite moment, right now. The start of a new mission is always full of possibility. The Orion Syndicate could sell it as a drug. <laughs> Don't let the Admiralty hear you say that. Captain on the bridge. Sit. Sit, everyone. You all know, I'm not big on speeches. We're embarking on the first mission since our refit. Let's make it a good one. Disengage docking clamps. Docking clamps released. Thrusters ahead, Mr. Handar. Thank you. I'm fine. Really, I... Uh... You don't look fine. I have to get to sickbay. Go. Well, that was quite a scare. A few minutes more and it would have been one of the shortest tenures on record for a first officer. Is that the engineer that was out on the hull? That storm did a real number on him, but he'll live. Just needs rest. You should worry about yourself. Your deridium levels got dangerously low and destabilized your cell structure. This is definitely one of the more memorable first days I can think of. My name is Dr. Aram Duval, Chief Medical Officer. To be honest, I've never met a Kobliad before. You're rare, I know. I was going to say special. Your people's numbers have dwindled, despite the Federation's efforts to find a more readily available alternative to the Duridium you need to survive. Yet you joined Starfleet and managed to thrive. I imagine the responsibility must be overwhelming. Maybe even a burden at times. I know what it means. And I know the responsibility that comes with it. But I can't be anything more than who I am. And if someone has a problem with that, or expects something else, then that's their problem, not mine. That's exactly right. And don't worry, I won't treat you like a science experiment. I just do the science and leave the experiments to Solano. You don't agree with his methods? I don't agree with his definition of acceptable risks. Not when the lives of your crew are at stake. 
My professional opinion is that the accident took a toll. More than he's willing to admit. He's overstressed, operating in the pressure cooker of his own mind. Which is never a good headspace when the lives of your crew are at stake. What concerns me is that now he's even further away from the thing he's been chasing his entire career. Breakthrough discovery. The major innovation. Something he can put his name on. The more the time passes and the further out of reach it gets, the more risk he'll be willing to take. People become blinded by their own ambition. I hear you. But that's my job, isn't it? To make sure that doesn't happen. And we don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Which is exactly why I'm so glad you're here. We need you now more than ever. And I have to give you credit for what happened on the bridge. It took guts to defy a direct order. Huh. I guess word travels fast around here. It's a small ship. And everyone's curious about the new XO. Fortunately, your cell structure is almost completely stabilized. And I'll spare us both the lecture, but I do feel it's my responsibility to remind you, without regular infusions of deridium, you will not live. It's as simple as that. Understood. Then, my work here is done. Sorry. I didn't mean to be lurking outside of sickbay. I didn't want to intrude, so it felt more appropriate to wait out here. We were all worried about you. Or I should say I was. I wasn't sure what was happening at first. But then I realized it was your condition. I don't want anyone to worry about me. I'm gonna be just fine. This is part of who I am, but I've never let it define me. I get that now. And I promise I'll try not to let being such a jerk define me, either. You trusted my intuition earlier, with a deflector pulse. I felt I should thank you for that. Well, thank you for coming. Even though you didn't have to. I wanted to. Now, Carter, the emissions that gave you that burn are quite unusual, like everything else that goes with this storm. That's the combination of Hyronalin and Lectrazine to counter the radiation effects. That should help speed your healing. She's come by a couple of times to see you already. Be brief. It's good to see you awake again. I was starting to get worried. Not that you aren't in good hands with Dr. Duvall. You did take one hell of a shot, though. You know, you can't get rid of me that easy. Don't push me, Diaz. You do not want to see me try. No, nope. <laughs> I am not getting on your bad side. I am a formidable enemy. <laughs> Millie was looking in on you too, by the way. But since it's just us right now, I... I had a chance to think about this while I was away. And I thought it was important that I just come out and tell you. Instead of tiptoeing around it. Or worse, leaving it unsaid. Wait, are you angry at me or something? Oh, no, no, not that. I'm sorry. I'm probably making too big of a deal here. What I'm trying to say is, we've been really good friends for a long time. But I got back here and I couldn't ignore it anymore. I want to see if there's more between us than just being friends. You sure about this? They're my feelings. Of course I'm sure. Well, I, I just mean seeing me in here after we almost got killed out on the hull. I felt this way before that, Carter. I like you. And I think there could be something more for us. So, what do you say? I like you too, Miranda. And I'd like to see where this goes. Good. That's... I was really hoping you'd say that. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, the patient needs to rest if he wants to get back to his old self. Of course. I'll see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>